Hi, it's cycle day 24 and I haven't done a video for like three or four days and it's just because I've been so flat out. I'm supposed to be resting. This is supposed to be the week after transfer where I'm supposed to be taking it easy, but it just didn't happen like that. Uh, actually, my son yesterday went in for surgery. Um, work has been really full on and life yeah life just life just goes on i'm sure uh you can relate and what happened was yesterday this was a massive week and i thought stuff it it's cycle day 24 i had my trigger shot on cycle day 12 my overdraw i went for egg collection on cycle day 14 which is technically classed as as ovulation well so i so i um have read anyhow and and what the clinic told me so um and cycle day 14 and 15 is typically when i would ovulate anyway and according to blood tests and all the tests that i've had done in the past so cycle day 14 was egg collection day cycle day 19 is when they transferred day five blastocyst aka folly back in and um, I had the day before the transfer, I had a shot of Pregnal, which I think also has the HCG hormone in. So yesterday when I come home, I thought, right, bugger, I'm going to have, I'm just going to do a pregnancy test. And it was like five o'clock and I did the pregnancy test. And I don't know if you guys can see that. It is a second Lord. Anyway, I looked at it for hours because I've been wanting to see this second line for a couple of years. And, of course, it's potentially just the trigger shot. and More than likely it is because I did another one today. And I don't know if you can see that. There's a very faint pink line. So there's still a second line, but it's fainter than the one that I took yesterday. So it's very likely that it is just the trigger shot, but it definitely plays on your mind and... I definitely had some tears yesterday just seeing the second line come up and imagining what it will feel like if it's real, if I actually am pregnant and Folly's made it uh, to this stage. So I'm probably going to keep testing every day because if it is the trigger shot, I guess the line will get fainter until there is no line. And then if I'm pregnant, that line will come back again. Well, that's my way of thinking anyhow. But I did my first pregnancy test on Friday, yesterday, at about 5 o'clock. And, of course, I wanted to pick up the clinic and ring them and say, could it be real? Is the trigger shot still in my hormones? And would it be out by now? But, of course, I couldn't ring them because they were closed. So I had to turn to Google, which was absolutely no help because there's no real clear... Um, there's no real clear information on exactly how long hormones stay in your system everybody metabolizes them different etc so i'm probably glad i've started testing because now i'm going to know if i have to do another cycle which fingers crossed that we don't have to but if i do have to then i guess i'll have a rough idea of how long it takes for the hormones to leave my body so maybe i can start peeing on sticks early and what the crack up is like even yesterday, I always, pretty well, I always get these first response because in my Google uh, my Google research, they're supposed to be the best. They're the most sensitive, they're the most um, accurate, they're supposed to be the best. And sometimes I get the clear blue ones, but mostly I get the first response. But what's hilarious, what I've noticed that I do is every single cycle, I will pull out the instructions of the pregnancy test and read them like as if I don't know how to use them. Like I literally will read them. Now, how long do I have to leave them in my pee stream for? And then how long do I have to wait to read the result? It's like I don't want to stuff it up every time, even though I know every single time how to use them and how long to wait. And I will hold the test up. Probably those of you who've been trying to conceive for some time will will relate but you know I'm holding them up to every light I'm shining torches on them I'm making them black and white and I'm killing myself over seeing a second line and let me assure you this is this is the only time I've seen a line like this in the last 
couple of years of trying and I'm probably going to hang on to it at least until I get my real pregnancy test. Well, keep your fingers crossed that this is a real pregnancy test. I've still got a bit of a cold. I thought it was going, but it's kind of just coming back and I am still taking the crinone, which is a real treat and um, six days until I go for my blood tests. I don't know, despite being so busy, it is possibly the slowest week that I've ever had in my entire life. But I will uh, keep you updated. Thank you so much for watching. Actually, if you've got some tricks on what you did to keep yourself busy and did you test, did you, did you test how long did it take for you to get the trigger shot out? And if you were pregnant, did you get a pregnancy test prior to your blood test? I'd love to hear. I'd love to know. Please share your journey with me below. Bye-bye.